All right, today's video is on the Carbon Light 2.0. It's a Johnny Morris series Bass Pro brand rod. And you're probably standing in the middle of Bass Pro right now on your phone trying to figure out if this is a good rod or not because I know that's what I did and I could not come up with. It's a new rod, just came out, pretty new to 2018, uh, and I could not find any reviews on it. So I took the chance and I bought it because, I mean, it looks great. And I know the old Carbon Light had good reviews, but this is the second version of it. If you're standing in the middle of the store and you know nothing about this rod, take my word for it. It's a good rod. Uh, I mean, I can't, I can't say enough about it, and I'll get to all the specs in the end of this video. But, you know, stay tuned if you want to see all that. But if you're awkwardly sitting in the store like I was, looking for a good review, I hope this helps. some of the specs so it's got carbon cool technology which is a new thing that they're introducing to a lot of new rods uh, that's basically just a stronger rod they take um, fibers it says carbon cool technology advanced construction process with double helix configuration blah 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 it just makes it stronger uh, it's got a RT4 graphite blank uh, a line ID system in the butt which Whoever thought of this is pretty smart because at first I thought it wouldn't be that helpful of a uh, feature, but once you get a lot of rod and reel combos, this little feature helps a lot. It lets you know what line you put on your rod. It does nothing with performance at all. It's just an indicator uh, that hey, I'm, this is my this is my setup with 30 pound line on it. This is my setup with 20, whatever. Uh, it's got durable Fuji guides on it. They're not the micro guides that you see on a lot of the other ones, but I kind of like this. Take this into consideration. Uh, myself, I fish a lot of braid with a fluorocarbon leader. And all of my micro guide uh, poles, they don't really work well because that knot between the, the leader and the line doesn't really transition through those good. So. If you like the micro guides and you're just going to run straight line through it, that's good. But I like these larger size eyes for that configuration. And I do that a lot. So that's good. I'm glad they put these on here. When I see micro guides, I'm a little hesitant because it just limits my options in that aspect. Uh, it has this skeletonized rear or rod seat. Rear rod seat? Oh, real seat. I can't read. But yeah, this thing right here. Pretty unique, and I uh, can't get it to focus, but yeah, pretty unique right there. It's not like most, it's not a two piece, it's not, it's a one piece, but it's, you, you get what I call it a skeleton. Other than that, I mean, I'm just really impressed with the looks of this thing. These wind grips on here, hands down, are my favorite grips. These wind grips fit nice. I know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of upgrades to these wind grips. See how this one tapers up like this and it gets larger and kind of has a hump right there. Uh, it makes it to where the transition between the rod and the reel is really comfortable for you. It's, it's going to be hard to show with my hand on there but that little bitty oops, that little bitty transition just you know when you when you sit like this it lets your your palm rest higher than on your traditional, traditional ones that just are a straight shank. I've fished a lot of ducats. Uh, I have a ducat ghost, the ducat triad, Abba Garcia Vendettas, a few other rods in the $100 price range, and I'm super impressed with this one. This one comes in right at 120, which is a midpoint between my ducat ghost and my ducat triad. Uh, and to me, it outperforms the triad. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, it's winter time. And I like doing these reviews in the winter time because, you know, what? I wonder how cold it is out right now. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? It's currently clear and 24 degrees in Brandon. Yeah. Temperatures are heading down. 
all in all, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to see some more review videos of products that I may have or may could get, uh, leave, a, leave a comment. And make sure and like this and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you all for watching.